event coming up on July the 25th. You want to tell us all about it, boys? Yeah, we got our first annual potential Pearl Cherry Hockey game at the Pacific Coliseum on uh, July 25th. It's the first time this has ever happened in Vancouver. We're bringing in some of the best players in the world right here uh, to play the Pacific Coliseum. So it's and it's for charity, the right to play Heroes Hockey and make a wish. 50% net proceeds go to them. And uh, it's going to be a high intensity, skilled game, and it's going to be awesome. Yeah. I like this. Hockey in July here in our city. Yeah. Mike Centrelli, one of the talented players. You said there was about 34 players in this one? Yeah, the roster will be about 34 players. 34 Can you name names? Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, we got um, Brendan Gallagher, Ryan Johansson, Martin Jones, who won, who just won a Stanley Cup with LA. Uh, Morgan Riley, Andrew Cogliano, Victor Bartley, Colton Citizens. The list goes on. Roster will be updated every day um, at CharityHockeyGame.com, so you can just keep an eye on that. Yeah. So, Mike, let's talk about this shoulder. Yeah. How you feeling? You ready to get back on the ice? You know, actually, I have been back on the ice. Uh, I started last week, a couple times a week, so I feel great. I feel strong again, and um, I think in the next week or two, I should be fully cleared to, to you know, start everything. Can, sorry, go ahead. This man was the spark plug for us in the Vancouver Canucks uh, past totally. season. Uh, taking a look at some of your highlights and taking a look at the future, what is the future for you and the Vancouver Canucks? What's, what's your gut feeling? Are you going to be back, back with the team? Uh, I hope so. I hope so for sure. Um, my mindset right now is obviously just getting my shoulder back and, and ready to go this year. And, uh, you know, I had such a great time last year with all those guys. And, and um, I, I hopefully things do work out. I think fans had so much fun watching you celebrate <laughs> all of these goals that we see on our B-roll here. It, it looks like so much fun. Obviously Obviously, there were off-ice issues with the, with the coaching ranks and uh, upheaval in the firing of Mike Gillis. Uh, now Trevor Linden's in the mix. Jim Benning's in the mi mm -hmm. mix. How do you feel about both Trevor being the president and uh, Jim Benning being your new coach? You know what? I think they're both going to do a, a great job. Um, they're both, uh, you know, good leaders, as, as you've seen with Trevor. Um, you know, when he was playing hockey, uh, he was the captain of the team for so many years, had so many great, great, uh, you know, teams, and he led them to the Stanley Cup final. So um, I'm sure he's going to do a really good job. Have you met well. him? Uh, yeah, I yes. have. Yeah, and uh, definitely one of my hockey idols growing up, cool. and one of the guys that you want to be in the backyard when you're playing with your, you know, your little brother, or friends, or whatnot. But uh, he's a, he's a great guy, and uh, you know, I look forward to seeing uh, the, the, the job they do. And your take on the new GM? I know you have uh, you haven't had the chance to meet Jim Benning just yet. You might be watching this, so when the yeah. contract <laughs> negotiations work it out, yeah. uh, you might be paying attention. But uh, what's your take on uh, the new former leadership? Yeah, no, like I, like I said, I think. Um, uh, you know he's, he's highly touted, and, and uh, I think he's going to do a great job. And, and he's obviously done he's obviously done a great job with Boston. So um, you know I look for him to do the uh, you know same kind of job here in Vancouver. And do you concern yourself with who the next coach might be, or do you just go, hey, these guys are going to have it all together, so let it be what it will be? Or do you like stay on it all the time and keep your ear to the ground? Uh, and you know, I think uh, you know you just got to kind of worry. Uh, well, for me right now, especially, like, I, you know, I want to come back strong, and, and I'm just focused on, on um, you know rehabbing, and and uh, I'm excited to finally be back on the ice. It's been a, it's been quite a while, my longest stretch, uh, you know, for, since I've been a kid. But uh, you know, I, I trust that they'll do uh, a great a great job, and uh, and uh, and I know they will. And David, for you to assemble all these players together for uh, this charity hockey game, first time you're doing this again, Pacific Coast. See him July 25th. These three charities you've got together are terrific. And how are the proceeds going to be donated? Well, we have 50% of net proceeds, so that's from everything from ticket sales to 50-50 to, to, to really any sort of revenue that's surrounding the game. And uh, hopefully, you know, if this game is a sellout, which we expect it to be, because tickets are, uh, came on sale yesterday and they're selling really well. Um, you know, there should be a big chunk of money that's being donated to these great charities that, that do a lot, a lot with the money. What's the, what's the price of a ticket? Uh, they start at $35, they go up to $65, and then you have VIP packages where you get to meet the players and all that stuff, go to morning skate, um, and, and, and yeah, no, I, we're try, we try to make it affordable. The full right. NHL experience. Yeah, I mean, there's no other place in the world where you're going to be able to see these players play for that kind of money. So, and and I just want to make it clear to people that it's going to be a skilled, fast game because uh, you know Mike Mike's is playing. Mike saying, <laughs> That's Mike, right. There's no halfway. This another man is Canuck all is uh, Alex Ether as well, who's who'll be playing. Great. So. All right. So we'll follow the website. We'll put details on our Facebook page. Uh, thanks to you both, potential apparel charity hockey game. Good luck, July 25th. Thank, Thank you. Coliseum. Thank you. Gonna be great.